force them to fear you. The landscape of professional Call of Duty gaming has changed once again. Hi, this is Fire Kobe, and I don't know if you guys heard or not, but I heard from Luigi um, a couple of, was it a couple of days ago, maybe or yesterday, that Impact or Team Impact has joined up with Epsilon Esports. Now, I think I mentioned Epsilon before, but they're a European organization and they have a multitude of teams um f you know for all various types of games like five um uh, starcraft um league of legends you know all the different type of video games and i believe they joined uh, or the official announcement came out i believe when was this it came out um, i don't know sometime in the last couple of days um Epsilon Esports, they posted on their website, I believe, let's see, what did, when did they post it? August 6th, so that was two days ago. So, as far as the roster is concerned, they're still the same. It's still, you know, Killa, Parasite, Miracles, and since Karma left, the new addition is going to be, um, now he's called Impact John, but he was Face John, I think before he was Fear John. You know, John has been you know around um, many teams, and he's a solid player. And um, like I said uh, in a previous video, it'll be inter interesting to see how he does with this new team. So having said that, um, Team Impact is now called Epsilon Impact. And according to Parasite, what had happened was their manager left unexpectedly and without notice. You know, which sort of telling because I think the turmoil that was going on within the team because they had been with Fereco, the you know larger organization, and then you know they just created their new um, sort of branding, and calling themselves Team Impact. They had new logos, new um, clothing, uh, or you know whatever. And for the team manager to leave without notice, that's you know sort of unusual. And I think it goes back to sort of the turmoil and possible, you know, immaturity within the Call of Duty um, gaming um, industry in general. I think because many of the players are considered teenagers to young adults. Um, you see in pro sports, like, there's a lot of issues there as well, even though they're adults. But... You know, you take that to another level when it comes to um, Call of Duty since the age group is a lot younger. So, odds are there's going to be a lot more um, issues. Um, maybe not the same, but, you know, different kinds. So, how is this going to change the landscape? Um, in the short run, probably nothing. Um, there could be extra motivation for... Parasite and Killa and Miracles to sort of prove themselves that they still belong, you know, in the top two in Call of Duty. This might be that little extra um, motivation that that not that they necessarily need it, but you know they've sort of been struggling lately, and you know, because of all the turmoil and whatnot, you know, that's um, it can't be fun. That's you know that's I think it's a given that it can't be fun when, you know, you've been so successful in the last, you know, eight, nine months and all of a sudden go from being the top dog to sort of like sort of lost right now. And it's interesting they join Epsilon in the sense that they're a European organization and not that they, they don't represent themselves worldwide, but at the same time, you know, uh, Impact is a North American team you know they all reside here so this could be a case of they needed um a partner um pretty quickly you know at least for the remainder of black ops 2 and you know there's a good chance they may end up joining someone else or you know making another move um before uh, call of duty ghosts come out so it'll be interesting 
And um, later on, I'm going to be uploading, you know, a couple of videos. Um, one is going to be U UMG Atlanta that's going to start tomorrow, uh, Friday, August uh, 9th. But um, on Friday, there's not going to be any live, live stream uh, 4v4s anyways. I think there's going to be some free-for-alls and 2v2s. So the actual 4v4 tournament is going to start on Saturday the 10th. And I'm going to post um, the top 16 seats and how they came about and, you know, whatnot. So anyways, just wanted to um, comment on Team Impact joining Epsilon. It's, um, it, you know, Call of Duty right now, as far as um, esports go, is sort of a wild, wild west. And there is no uh, strong direction. Not I don't want to say strong direction, but... It's not as organized um, as it could be, and part of that is I think you know the the industry is growing, and I think the last year and a half has you know seen tremendous growth in popularity, in awareness, and people's knowledge, and um, I think it's going to keep growing, and with that comes growing pains. But anyways, um, see you guys later. Bye.